I got a new bowl making router bit for Christmas and I thought I'd give it a try by making a bowl out of this slab of walnut. So my plan is to have a strip of maple run right down the center of the walnut bowl. But the first thing I need to do is chop this piece of walnut to rough length. My bowl is going to be about 6 inches wide, but I'm not going to put the maple strip exactly down the center. So what I need to do is cut off about a 4 inch wide strip of walnut and then a 2 inch wide strip and we'll sandwich the maple in the middle. Before I resaw this maple strip to thickness, I'm going to go ahead and cut it to width. I'm going to go ahead and resaw the center maple strip to thickness, staying slightly thicker than I actually need, and we'll take it to its final dimension at the plant. With my bowl bit in my plunge router, I'm only able to extend down to about right here on my stock. So I think this is way too much thickness for the uh, bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this thickness by resawing it at the downside. With the freshly resawn sides up, I'm just going to take a couple light passes on the plant. So before we can glue our wood sandwich together, we need to make sure that we have a nice flat and square edges. And we'll do that at the joiner. I'm going to take the center maple strip down to the walnut surface with a hand plane. In order to make sizing up our template a little easier for our blank, I'm going to go ahead and square up both ends. I made a template out of some hardboard and I went ahead and drilled a hole for my coping saw blade. Now I just need to cut it out. I'm using my DIY twin screw vise to secure the template as I cut it out. And if you'd like to build your own, see the description for plans. With the template clamped to the workpiece, I'm just going to go ahead and trace this template out and hope that my pencil line shows up on the walnut. I'm going to remove the bulk of the material at the drill press using a Forstner bit. Now when you set the depth of your Forstner bit, make sure that the center spur doesn't go below the depth uh, capability of your router bit. I was able to remove most of the wood with a Forstner bit, but the little bit that I couldn't get to with the Forstner bit, I'm going to remove with a chisel. So after I attach my template with some carpet tape, I'll be ready to route this out. In order to route out the recess for the bowl, I had to make an oversized base for my plunge router. After you've made a few passes, you can go ahead and remove your template because at this point the router bearing is actually going to reference off of the workpiece. I intentionally left the walls of my bowl a little bit oversized or a little bit thicker than I needed to give myself more room for the tape to attach the template. So now I need to go back and shave down these sides a little bit to, uh, to make them a little bit thinner. I captured the thickness of the bowl with my compass, and now I can transfer this curve onto the corner. And now we can just cut this out of the bandsaw.
So after a couple coats of a mixture of varnish and tongue oil, the bowl is finally finished. Actually, I don't know if this is a bowl or a tray, but uh, my wife wanted a bowl, so I guess it's a bowl. Some of you might have noticed that I haven't released one of these videos in a while. And actually, some of you guys even sent me an email to check in on me and to uh, see how I was doing. So thanks for that. But uh, I want to let you guys know that I still plan on releasing these videos, and I hope to start releasing them more on a consistent basis. So that's it. And if you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.